Um, well, you have seen in the TV a lot of programs where the, where the, the clinic has a catalog of, of donors, but it is not quite the reality. <laughs> Um, some of the some of, in some of the countries the donors are anonymous and in some others they are not. Uh, also, the decision of choosing the donor also varies with the country. In some countries, you are responsible for choosing the donor, and in some others, uh, is the medical team the one responsible for choosing your your donor. Um, in Spain, for example, by law. The donor is anonymous and the medical team should choose the donor uh, basing their decision on phenotypic issues. Um, they should get a donor that is the most similar to the patient. For that matter, the clinics also can um, do an improved selection. One could be based on genetic compatibility with current tests and other could be the facial resemblance. For the last one, we have, be, we have developed Phenomatch. Uh, it's a tool that helps embryologists and doctors uh, to make the decision and choose the right donor for the patient based on uh, scientific arguments. And this tool measure more, measures more than 12,000 facial biometrics and um, gives a score based on the facial resemblance.